Last time years back, Crime Watch gave one of the first glimpses of a new aid to detection, and it directly helped to solve a murder. A medical artist, Richard Neve, developed a sophisticated way of reconstructing human faces from skeletal remains. Well, his services have been called upon many times, and this summer, Hampshire police got in touch with him after a body was found in a shallow grave on a farm near Southampton. Now, this is the face that Mr. Neve has reconstructed. It is, of course, just a likeness, but the man we think was probably Asian. He was about 40 years old. He was short. He was about five feet four inches tall. He had very small feet, size five and a half, and he wasn't circumcised. Now, his face is a little lopsided. He wore an earring in his left ear. The only item of clothing he had on was this fake Pringle sweatshirt. You can see here it's a Nick Faldo collection. Pringle don't actually make one like this, so it is fake. And the grave contained a chunny, which is rather like a sarong. His body was found in this sleeping bag. Now, we know that it was made by Millets and it was on sale since March 1995. So did you by any chance sell it to a man looking like this? But uh, DCI Mike Lane from Hampshire Police is here to tell us more. Mike, first of all, what can you tell us about the chunny that was found? We don't actually know whether it belonged to the victim or not, but it's an Asian garment typically worn by Asian women, um, either as a headscarf or a, a sash. It can also be worn by Asian men around the waist. Now, the body was found at Little Abshot Farm near Southampton on the 7th of June. Do you believe that he was killed around that time? The forensic scientists have told us that they believe he was killed sometime in May this year. So some weeks previously. Yes. What was the significance of the farm? Do you think he worked there? Well, the farm employs a large number of Asian workers, and we're particularly interested in the period from July 1995. We've spoken to a large number of workers from the farm, but none of them so far say they recognize the face. We're anxious particularly to interview workers who we know were brought in from Southall in London on a daily basis on buses, and uh, we'd very much like them to contact us. Now, they may be reluctant to call you for various reasons, but you do stress that their calls will be treated in the strictest confidence. Yes, of course, and we don't know whether the victim was a worker or not. Now, another lead you have is that the victim had some specific dental work on one of his teeth. Yes, he did. He had a three-quarter crown, which was made from a gold alloy, and that was in the lower left jaw, at position number six. And we're very keen to talk to any dentist that may be able to connect the face with the, this work. Dave, thank you very much indeed. Well, we were hoping tonight to identify a murder victim. Now, a body unearthed by a tractor ploughing in a field in Hampshire. This is a plaster model constructed from the skull and other clues. He was a male, probably Asian. He was short, about five feet four, and aged around about 40. We hoped that dentists might remember fitting him with a crown, or farm workers may recall him at Little Abshot Farm outside Southampton. Well, DCI Mike Lane, what news so far? We've had a good response, about 50 calls. Um, one or two interesting ones, for example, a store detective in Sussex tells us that she believes she recognised the face, hasn't seen him around since about the time of the death, which is very interesting. Let's dwell a little bit on the crown that was fitted. I mean, to us, it's just figures, but uh, dental technicians might actually recognise the, uh, the, the composition of the filling of the crown. Yes, they might, and we're disappointed that we've not heard from any. It's a specific mix of alloys, uh, of metals to make the alloy. We know that only one company in the UK produces that, although it could be produced used elsewhere in the world and they have sold in turn to 179 dental technicians so we are hopeful that a dental technician would recognize the order for a lower left jaw tooth in position number six three-quarter crown with this alloy mix well let's hope someone does recognize that and also i think he had a, a rather large overbite as well with the front teeth yeah. overlap the bottom now if you have anything to add call the incident room direct at hampshire